what he knowing what he has to do. I think Kurt is running in a bit more now and putting a lot more effort into those deliveries. That wasn't a particularly short ball. Perhaps he could pitch a bit closer to the batsman, but that wasn't very short. Just emphasizing the slow nature of the pitch. Huh? Took an hour to get to Junior Murray. Seems to be some sort of discussion going on out there as well, but uh, we haven't seen too many of this sort of delivery, and uh, as we've said, that, that just shows you how slow the wicket is. And uh, they're exchanging a few words out there, uh, batsman and bowler. It uh, just shows you how serious uh, these two are. What if Stephen said, well bowled? predicted AB it's got him fired up well certainly brought the test match to life I don't know whether the viewers can hear the crowd but uh, they're certainly loving this confrontation and uh, I must admit I'm enjoying this from 150 yards as well umpire David Shepard has signaled there that's the second ball over the level of the shoulder so Steve Wall will know that he can't deliver another one like that It's a very famous stare, that Tony. I've seen that many occasions. Oh. And that's the end of an over which will be written, written about in all the papers tomorrow and will be discussed for many years to come by those who have watched it. Three for 32. So now, back to Ambrose v. War, Foreman v. Tyson. Last over, there was that uh, confrontation between the two of them. Here's Richardson coming up very quickly. And really having to pull his fastball out of it. Oh, I have, I've never seen that before, Tony, uh, in all the matches I've seen or played uh, in West Indies versus Australia. So nice and fiery out there, and don't we just love it? A single here for war. Of course, there was the incident in Brisbane when the West Indies were there in 1993, when a decision against uh, Mark Taylor very early on in the first test was given not out by the umpire. And uh, Richardson did have to come down and usher Ambrose back to his. It's only just out of reach of Stuart Williams. Ambrose comes down again, smiling, which is a variation on an established theme for him. Well, I think Ambrose is smiling because he's happy with the way he's bowling. He certainly is bowling very well. Look at that delivery. The ball hitting the seam and deviating off the seam. <laughs> this time inside it. Normally it's Courtney Walsh's eyes that do the talking. But Ambrose's eyes are doing plenty of talking today as well. Look at this ball here from Courtney Ambrose. It bounces very well, passes pretty close to the head of Steve Waugh, but by the time it gets to the wicket keeper, it's on its way down again. Not a great deal of pace, but it still managed to pass it pretty close to the batsman's head. In behind that for one unsettling moment. I think he was unsure where it was. And luckily for Steve Waugh, he had everything behind it. The ball came back down, a bit of backspin because he didn't really force it away from himself off the bat. But when it came down, it hit into his pads. Through him. 
few more words being passed, but I think those words were much better words passed. I think Steve Waugh said to Curly Ambrose, they are well bold. A more curt response to the Curly Ambrose. <laughs> the territory at the moment attacking as relentlessly as they can afford to at five for 68.